What happens when Russian debt comes due this week? Is Treasury expecting a default? So you're right that the Russian economy is in a state of pain. It's in a financial crisis, a financial crisis that's been caused by our sanctions, but are the result of President Putin's invasion. The steps that they're taking there demonstrate that the pain they're taking is having significant impact. They've stopped Russian citizens from being able to withdraw foreign currency. They're in a position where they're going to have to make choices about what debts they pay going forward. And those choices will ultimately put him in a position where he has to make a decision about whether he continues the invasion or he stops that invasion. What comes next from the West? President Zelensky has asked the U.S. for a blockage of international waterways for Russia. He's asked for a full trade embargo. How likely are either of those things? The first thing I have to say is that we are um, impressed and encouraged by the bravery of the Ukrainian people. The actions they've taken to stop Russia's invasion have been remarkable, and we continue to support them. Um, what we've decided to do and what the president's directed us to do is to make sure that our actions are targeted at having an impact on Russia and minimizing the impact on our allies and partners going forward. That's exactly what we're going to do. So you're going to see us continue to put pressure on the Russian economy to stop their ability to project power. We're going to continue to go after Russian elites in order to take away resources from President Putin. And then we're going to use export controls to degrade their ability to project power into the future, all of which are consistent with what President Zelensky has been asking us to do. Have you identified alternatives for nickel, uranium, titanium, critical commodities that are coming out of Russia that still have yet to be sanctioned? So you're right that um, Russia produces a number of critical minerals going forward. One of the things that we know is that there are um, plenty of supplies around the world. But the challenge, of course, is many of the prices for these minerals are set globally. So even if we're able to find an alternative supplier, if the price goes up because of President Putin's choice to invade, the price goes up globally. So we're going to work hard to mitigate those things. But the thing that we know is that the American people and our allies are willing to pay a cost in order to make sure that we defend freedom. The key for us is to make sure we mitigate that cost as much as possible.